True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> The boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. Son. They really speak their truth. What the hell was that? <laughs> year, year, year. <laughs> what he do? Oh, wow. What the business is. What is good? It is Super Bro, your boy Mel. And we are back in the building again, bringing the barbershop talk to the box office, baby. True View. Where do you get a boxing costume from? I'm black, man. But, hey, man, this, look, this yeah, close I got to a superhero cape. All right? I ain't got no damn superhero capes. He on his radio. It's like a clan yeah. cape. You don't like no superhero cape. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. You look like you, like you grand mastering over there. Yeah, hey, man, you know, I try. I do what I can. Need to fit in for hey, this, man. New era. this new era that's coming, I guess. Oh, stop it. Hey, I am the I am hyphen X. Thank you for tuning in. True View Podcast. Alley to my guy. Yes. Stay on their way. Y'all know what it is, and y'all know who it is, and who y'all in the building with. True You Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Once again, thanks again for tuning in. It's Grown Man MJ in the place to be with the people to be with, the man who keep it real on the real. So let's get it, fellas. Let's get it, gentlemen. Cheers to a new episode. That's for the homies who ain't here. All right. Ooh, that shit kind of bite. What are we getting into today? Supercell. What is that, you might ask? Well, Supercell, or Super, sorry, Supercell is a Netflix series that delves into the lives of five ordinary Black Britons who suddenly discover they possess superpowers. Set in contemporary London, the series explores the impact of these newfound abilities on their daily lives, relationships, and the world around them, all while evading government detection. Super sin. Did I get the accent right? I, I, I tried. I don't know. I might have came up a little short on it, but I tried, gentlemen. So this wasn't the documentary <laughs> of Amazon Prime Days, Super Sale? Of what? <laughs> <laughs> ah! This ah. motherfucker, man. No, God damn it. Oh, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> What's the wrong shit? If I could just hop in real quick, please do. Did I enjoy this? Yes. Did I like the concept? Loved it. My my gripe is I usually say this the other way around, but this could have just been a movie. It no no need for it to be a series. I believe the series kind of just drug it out. Mm-hmm. We didn't really get we did I well I'm gonna talk for me didn't really get what it is that I was really looking for out of this and that was like the Black Avengers I didn't really get that and now I have to look sit and wait for season two so uh, that's where I'm at with it that was a short bus my, for me I think that's my biggest short bus too that I have to wait for season two and these six episodes you did nothing but introduce Carrie mm-hmm. you didn't even really yeah. get- the villain well enough for me to even be concerned with a season two quite honestly but real talk you didn't even really get to the story either because we jumped into this joint and we, we was done with the shit about a week later so it was it was it was it was just missing the story like i'm usually i'm usually on the side of shorten the joint mm-hmm. uh, on this one, I actually think they needed two more episodes, maybe even four. Give me eight or ten, and this would have been a dope first season. And I'm with it. No, yeah, do, you, do you believe that, that it was good character development? 
throughout the yeah. throughout the series? Do you think the characters developed? Yeah, I thought, I thought that shit was I, spot on. Nah, I, I thought that's all they did. Rushed. I think some of it was rushed, honestly. Like I, I, I wanted to know more because you I always say, like, if you don't feel connected to the character, it's it's gonna be hard for me to connect to the to the movie or the series. And I felt like they just kind of rushed through them. Even though I think each each of their episodes were an hour long, I still feel like I don't really know what the fuck going on in the live well, characters. And even in each of their episodes, you still were jumping in between other other stories as well. Right. So it's a it was a lot of tie-ins and everything else that I got through it. I do agree it was a little rush, but I just feel like that's all the the show capitalized on was character development. So I was cool with it. Okay. I, I mean, for Agreed. a superhero joint, I'm I'm okay with it. I, it's not like it's hella dramafied, but I, I agree that I don't want I don't want to give away that spoiler. But to have me feel a certain way at the end, you did need to work harder to make that person more. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was. That's definitely- another one of my short buses. Like you know what your power. I, Mike Mike said something about uh he don't want to give away the spoiler. I don't give a fuck. These, you know what? If you want me, if you if you want me to Why feel a certain way, school? you have to use that superpower to get her to fuck out of there. You're 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 the you you asking a black woman to leave leave uh, a situation that right. she doesn't. He couldn't put leave his from. hand on her shoulder, teleported <laughs> and then teleported back. You right. My thing. My right. thing was if he redid it the first time, how come he couldn't redo it again? He ran out of juice. Apparently, that's yeah, what I picked up. He, he ran out of juice. Yeah. But yeah, because remember, he couldn't even teleport over to her. I did like that part. He was like stuttering and falling and shit. I did like that part. <laughs> See, I thought I thought the plot twists were kind of predictable, and I wanted I wanted to be surprised. I really wanted to be surprised, and I read even through with the white the, lady. The what? Even with the white lady. Yeah, I read that as soon as she stepped on scene, just because how much camera time they were giving her. I was like, "Oh yeah, okay." I think I thought she was either going to be like a uh, god damn, like a <laughs> Sam Jack's character in uh Marvel. Oh yeah, I thought she was gonna be either her or the villain. So it was it was one or the other, but they gave her way too much screen time for her to be like a non anything. So I was yeah, I, I read right through all of that. So it was it was a little too predictable for me. Yeah, I got that and I feel notes. like in the middle in the middle of these episodes and stuff, like it was I was getting lulled and I, I wanted more action, more fast pace. I really wish they would have delved into homeboy that was looking for the gig. Like he really I wanted him to be really be out there like hustling, trying to trying to figure out how to I wanted him to punch about four more ATMs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, that's what I was you know saying. I wanted I him to, him to, to like, you going after this safe. Yeah, yeah. Are you going after these safe ATM at, at every every gas station. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I wanted. I wanted him to be out there hustling, really figuring out like how he could use these powers to get to that money. Like I really wanted them to, and I was like, I don't know, man. And then, he, and then no, like no, he, kinda... he didn't even see his son in A Town. His son was like, I guess slinging birds in A Town now. Yeah. Because they didn't go to the fucking movies. What the fuck is that about? Hey, and then you gotta man, spend time with deep. kids, man. You gotta spend I mean, bro, I honestly I, 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 go ahead, Zo. I feel, you know, and I agree with a lot of what was just said, just as far as how it was mapped out, but I really feel that if they would have given us that ending from the get go mm-hmm. and you know showed how it all unfolded, the plot would have came off a bit better as far as what you know may have been missing you know what i'm saying from what they did give us as I far wish. as you know his lady being you know killed oh, or whatever yeah. and, you know what i'm saying just unwinding it a different way i wish they would have highlighted more like how the character's superpowers like kind of symbolize them or how they were feeling or you know a, a shortcoming in them like uh with the strength thing maybe he he feels powerless because he can't get a job because he made that mistake and with the invisible thing like he he feels like he's just not seen at all or people don't respect him so he feels unseen like i wish they would have played into that character building a little more and that that would have that would have slapped that would have helped 
that would have helped to be a little clever. But I mean, they kind of did. The delivery dude was the time, man. They touched it. Yeah, I'll I say they touched it, but it was like you need to. Well, they put didn't. That... They didn't lean in it with the rightness. What you saying? It was yeah, more like. Yeah, yeah. You had to figure that. You had to figure it out. I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I didn't like how old girl turned off of off of off a of dude having another broad at the crib. I thought that was kind of. I thought that was kind of weird. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm tripping, dog. I mean, she had a lot of stress at work. She could have, you know, she seemed like she should have snapped on her sister before she snapped on dude. Her sister was a piece of shit. I'm just saying, a funky bitch. This motherfucker needed to have her ass. What she had the telekinesis. She needed to yeah. be telekinesis through the damn wall, dog. She needed to be out the crib, bro. That mug was all the problems, dog. I ain't gonna go outside in the alley. Oh. Oh, whoa, okay. By far, my clown was the <laughs> moving along. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. yeah, moving along. I do want to shout out <laughs> this nigga's a trip. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was in mid sentence, he was in mid sentence. I let him get it off, man. I let him get it off. This movie was directed by Rap. Wait, so I'm wrong? No, no, you no. This nigga, this nigga just got to be on the I ten by ten. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 go, go ahead, man. Look at me. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Shout out <laughs> Rap who directed and wrote this. Hey, and, shit. Uh, like Top Boy, Blue Story, Shiro Story. Netflix ended up picking this up. Yeah, no, it, it was it was definitely it was recorded in 2022. Not sure of the dates, but it took a took a little while to get it released. But it is here. So what what did we see? I saw a fish and chips black lightning going. Good down. Lord Almighty! All right, fish and chips. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Now, Mike, is that are we is that a positive or a negative? No, Black Lightning was DC. This this didn't have no logo over it, which kind of gives mm-hmm. it a little bit of credibility or credence. You know what I'm saying? You, you well, kind of give it some points for that. You know, not being under a big banner. I and, think and, Netflix and put their banner on it, right? Because Netflix not been quality giving us, of work they did. Though. Netflix been giving us a, a couple little superhero flicks, like with the old guard and all of that stuff. So I think they trying to. I think they're trying to get their foot in the game. So I think this was just another way of them. But it was possibly. But but to me, it was the same story. Yeah. With less messaging. Black Lightning had a lot of messaging and stuff like that with it. And this right here, I felt like they didn't really have any messaging at all in this story. Message. Well, I I I did like the fact that they took uh the sickle cell, sorry. And they use that. That's a you know something real in the real world to kind of show how they got these super, <laughs> these super cells. Super. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, super. These super cells. So I did. I I enjoy. I enjoyed that aspect of it. But it was just like your typical. Oh, these niggas got powers. They don't know how to use them. X Men ish type stuff. Because even when he went to the future. Uh, his future self didn't even really he, he was like oh since you're here that must mean so like he didn't have all the answers you know what i'm saying he didn't have all the answers i think he sent them off honestly damn he was just trying to get that real talk get his girl back yeah i was about to yeah mm-hmm. I caught, myself, caught myself no man they they were nominated for a bafta tv award for best drama series and also nominated like all them NAAC. Yo, I did not like all them letters, dog, with no explanation. <laughs> <laughs> the black, black as fuck I, television I association, it. I, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but they also been nominated for the NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Drama Series. So we'll see what comes of that. They did have the British, the British rapper Stormy's Stormzy and Dave uh, do a cameo in here. So they they were using the British culture and everything, doing their things in here, man. So people just pop no, in. Definitely, you definitely could see that and sense that with how the series starts. 
mm-hmm. with the music, the styling, the dressing, the, the, the slang, all of that stuff really brought the UK out where it almost kind of evaporated. Like you didn't even feel like you was across the pond no more. Man, yeah, well, bloods and crips everywhere. Jamaican influence or new wagwa and all of that. I was like, damn, is that like, is that a London thing? Is is it is a Jamaican presence heavy? Over no, it's, there? A, it's a heavy, heavy Jamaican presence over there. Yeah. yeah. No, I did too. How within every scene you see at least two of the characters, and they're they're moving about. They're either moving in the background and all of that stuff, mm-hmm. and they were they were linked from the beginning scene. And once you got to know the characters, yeah. like that helped build a little frustration. I was like, God damn, man, like why the fuck y'all ain't see each other? Like, can't y'all send some shit or something? Like, god damn. That, that was one way that they did keep me engaged in there with the lows and the writing and everything. So now keep it real. If you were to find out you had superpowers, and mm. within that same week you found out there's some other mothers running around with superpowers, you'd be kind of mad, wouldn't you? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, 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 I ain't even special. Know. Right. Yeah, yeah I thought I was a nigga. I was spinning to turn this shit up. Oh. Hey, but I'm real trying, talk, I'm I trying to hit all the licks. Fuck that. What's that nigga name? Thra- what's his name? Thrash? Thrasher? What was that nigga name? Now, that nigga had the right idea. I'm gonna start what? fucking niggas up. Oh. oh. oh you talking about Taser? You talking about Taser? Taser, my bad, Taser. Yeah, I thought Thrasher was the dude in the alley. I was like, wait a minute, hyphen. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Man. I could. I he didn't even use his. He, hey, but but he, he didn't use the powers for evil. Let's just remember that part. She was out there playing. Yeah, damn. Lady, ladies, don't don't be using another man's emotion to try to make another man jealous. That's how your ass get got. Which which one of them was the strongest one? Oh, girl that oh girl that passed. Oh no, I mean you know out of the five, out of the, out of the main characters, which one? I'm saying the way the way that monkey set him off. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <bro. laughs> God. See how it's strength, dog. <laughs> it just adds to a whole nother dem- <laughs> a whole nother time. It's like <laughs> to a, yeah, a whole nother time. She didn't send me to the oh, future. God damn. Hey, you gonna see yourself again and have to tell yourself how good this shit was, nigga, and come save That's me. That's why that motherfucker was like, you got to save <laughs> that monkey was powerful. I'm just you trying to tell you. You got to save her. You need to go. Yeah, back. yeah, 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 yeah. July 9th, motherfucker. Y'all got to get I this. I was just shit. in this. What you mean? She shit. did. I was just in it. In the next it's season, he finna go back again. Shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Do, does anybody know if they greenlit another season? Uh, I, I, don't I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I'm pretty. Long I'm long enough. Damn. So no, it's, it's, they almost got to. I don't, think it's, I don't think it's had its time yet for them to say, you know, we going green like, you know. I don't think they've gotten the uh, feedback they, they need yet. Now that I'm not sure. I know they said the estimated budget for this was $20 million, but they, you know, Netflix keep all of their damn numbers to the chest, so we don't know how much it made or whatever. But... The response is like uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave this an eighty-seven percent, and IMDb gave it an eight point two out of ten. So I mean, no, I watched, I guess, I watched the movie out. she got right there. She had it at a four out of ten. Okay, I'm, I'm at a three and a half, but I'm teetering down. I'm teetering on the downside. It was supposed to be more than what because it was supposed to be more than what it was. Yeah, we only got we only got the, the surface of it. They should have dug a little bit deeper, man. And that's just real. They should have dug a little bit deeper. And to answer your question, who do I think was like who had the best power? Mm-hmm. I think my man Michael. I think maybe he had the best power because he had the ability to teleport and also re- redo events, fix his mistakes. But Taser's Taser's won. powers is dope too. I would have won. Once she once she can control this shit and start flying and shit, she that's just, she gonna be a bad motherfucker. Yeah, man, I, I set this at a 3.75 myself. I I think I, I look at this season as the pilot season. Like, it, like, you know, normally you got a pilot episode. I feel like this was a pilot season. So I think that's like disrespectful. Were that's to, that's uh, disrespectful. They were trying no, to get everybody's pilot ready yeah. for the next season. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, it's, it's no disrespect. They disrespected us by not giving us a completed season. But no, that's no, that's what I'm saying. That's disrespect by giving us a whole pilot season. That's disrespectful. <laughs> oh, to them. Oh, I thought you said I would be, you yeah, know, I'm yeah. disrespectful anyway. But 
No, yeah, for once, for man. once, you're not in the wrong, man. Shout so out to uh, if this was go ahead. I was gonna say real quick, shout out to Andre, man. It was dope to see him in this coming off his role in the previous season of BMF. He played a hell of a fucking role. It was dope to see him, you know, expand his palette. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Jalen Brown, man. Like I was I was excited to see him as the main villain in this motherfucker. Like I was like, okay. Let's look at here, boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, hey, and shout out to and, and shout out to the great customer service, man. With the speed, nigga, great customer service, man. If we're not there in five no, minutes, it's, it's free. free. God damn. Hey, listen, he took trap and he took trap to new heights. God damn it. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you, my get man, powers, like, we, you get powers hey. in the leech, God damn it. That's what hey, I'm talking about. Like, man, said, we can't, he yeah. said we can't compete with that. He said we can't compete that's, with that, man. That's what I wanted from the dad, bro. That type of hustle right there. This man, dog. Oh my god. If he would the, the brute strength, dog, and you come on now. Should have beat the fuck out of his homies. They stole a whole empty, a empty, a empty uh safe. Yeah, that, that's that. But what you were saying, Mike? Nigga, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <my bad. laughs> God damn. Well, hell, I know. Like, I think, and I needed more of that background between what was his name, Energy or whatever, the 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 villain dude who had who could take people powers. Brown. I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. But uh, <laughs> I, I needed I needed him and Taser. I need I needed more of that backstory. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Most yeah. definitely. And then maybe a flashback to the mom. They said the mom got killed in there. She has the powers and shit. So, brother, because I mean, the mom opened it up. Like that was that was her getting killed in the beginning. And then I'm like, damn, her power was crazy. She blowing off doors and shit. But then when she saw the sunlight, she gonna take a slow motion walk. Like I, was, I didn't get that part. But it, yeah, yeah. All right, real talk. Like I know it's there. I know, I know you two are over there, you know, in long lasting and married committed relationships. Oh, shit. We'll start with that. But real talk, you date a girl for a few months, right? You do something crazy, she show up at your door, and then you find out she got superpowers. Then you see her again later on. Tell me you're not gonna try to get back in that monkey one more time, see if something new happens. I'm trying to see if that shit contagious. Yeah, no, no, not if it's contagious. I, I need to know that's if this is super excuse. monkey. That's a great excuse. Yeah, no, nah, I need to know if this is super coochie too. Because he was like, no, nah, stay the hell away from me and all that shit. And I was like, nah, that's the wrong move, player. You ain't never had none of that. So I'm just saying I'm in. Right. Nobody else would be in. I'll be right there, man. I'm like, I got to put that under the notch. Because maybe when I was hitting you, you wasn't super. But now, now you super. Yeah. I'm frozen. Real talk. I seen you mad before. You didn't get. You did. You did never did this. Never at all. <laughs> Bitch, you, when you get hazel eyes, ho. Like. <laughs> yeah, man, man, you not in. Hi hypothetically, you can't be frozen I and blinking at the same time. Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 huh? You win, you win. Zo in. Yeah, I, yeah. See, I see the fifth. Yeah, Zo in. He doing. You the are the you know. <laughs> oh, Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> This is Top Boy meets the Flash. This is Black Lightning uh -huh. meets Athena. This is Black Man meets the Avengers. God damn. Damn. This is Cloak and Dagger meets Luke Cage. <laughs> oh, shit. This is Meteor Man. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Meets the Warriors. Okay, this is this is the Umbrella Academy meets Blank Man. Okay. Did somebody just say Blank Man? I did just say Blank. That's okay. Man. He, he just, just that's, that's all right, man. You can mix it with some of them. It's fine. That was good. That was a good one. 
This is, this is all the kings. This is uh, Ooh, that's a fantastic good four. This is the gentleman. This is uh, meets Doctor Who. Hey, I'm gonna say one. Somebody else. Somebody else say the other, man. I got you. Damn, fuck it. I lost it. Misfits. This is the is Wire. That- oh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Strange. <laughs> the Wire meets Doctor Strange. Okay. This is uh, the Punisher meets Misfits. Ah, uh, this is Hancock. Whoa, Paul. Show you. With Will Smith. Come on. So somebody said the other one. Oh, I was like, you pause. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I did, man. Shit. <laughs> the Hancock hey, and the God. Power Rangers. God damn. Ah, man. there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. This is this is girlfriends meets Afro Samurai. <laughs> this is old guard. <laughs> Meets the blue eyed samurai. This is Dragon Ball Z meets power. Meets power. Wow. <laughs> no, this is a powder puff girls meets power. Jesus. This is Ninja Turtles meets Archer. <laughs> <laughs> the micro mic. <laughs> Looking at us. Meets insect uh, again. I don't know. This is Madman meets Teletubby. It is everyone's favorite game. Three names. Got to be on the I-10 by 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, man. It was just a bunch of motherfuckers, dog. They was all teaming up. That's it. <laughs> Charge your oh, iPhone. All right. His eyes wide shut meets madman. How about that? I don't know. This is everyday hero. This is bright eyes meets this, madman. This is a tribe called Quest. Mm. Tribe mm. called Quest is nice. Tribe called Quest. This is the all my cousins Avengers. at the family reunion. The everyday Avengers. Light Me and my eyes. cousins now. Super Hood. Hood Avengers. Hood heroes and hoods. I like hood heroes. The, the bad guys had the hoods on there. The bad guys had the hoods. No. Nah, I was going to say, uh, Taser had his hood on. He was a bad guy, bro. In the, in the end, they all had hoods. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep, that's the end. This is Which hoods. was the beginning. I don't know. Ah, hoodlums. Hoodlums. This is super profile. The hood alums. Okay, all right. Super Britons, God damn it! I'm sick of these niggas. <laughs> the Burroughs best. Uh, fried, fried, fried crumpets. <laughs> Deep fried crumpets. <laughs> Twenty-two Savage. Shit. Shade Tree Avengers. This is uh, yeah. Black or Lightning. <laughs> I do and I don't. Pondy Supers. Will you? Will you super me? That was Super so the Super me. The block is hot. Brown eye. No limit soldiers. The South. You said brown eye monkey. No I said brown eye bunch. God damn. The South Ooh. London Super Squad. Man. He called him the brown eye monkey. Shit. No, I thought he said that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he said it. I didn't say it. I thought he said it. Fair five. Uh, dangerously close. These blokes ain't no joke. Aha. <laughs> All right, man. Let's pick one. Where we? Where we? Where we at? From zero to heroes. Superhero swag. Swag serpent. Generational giants. Skywalker. I got my swagger back. Past the power. Light skin eyes. The extraordinary Negroes. There you go. Super trapping. New Black History. Brit Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, UK 24, nigga. UK Blacker across the pond. You okay. Ah, I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Okay, fellas. Sale therapy, how about that? Ah, I like that. Mm-hmm. A clearance sale, nigga. <laughs> From up under the microscope. <laughs> Big Brother's watching. Watch this. Transmutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I didn't like the turtles part. I wasn't supposed to say that part. Digits Underground. Can I get your number? What your power is. <laughs> Drop me a Girl, line. What's your sign? In plain sight. 
It's morphing time. God damn. Uh, hey. <laughs> I like it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I fuck with it. Yo, we all that's it. Simple. Man. Simple. Yeah, yet it's effective. morphing time. Hell yeah. yeah. Them damn. motherfuckers go bullshit. All right, man. The official right. True View rename for Supercell is. It's morphing time. <laughs> Yo. Yo. And the official True View score. I know. One, two, three, three. It is a three, a 3.475 overall. Gentlemen, what do we feel? Should've this motherfucker, I roll. God damn. What do we feel was the messaging in this motherfucker? What that means? No one knows what it means. What does it all mean, Basil? So, what are you trying to say? What, 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 what is your message? Sometimes people not acting funny. They just is. Message? Sometimes it's power in them generational curses. Ooh, mm. Mm. Heroes are not made. They're born. Message. The power is yours. Message. Look at us. With our powers combined. Sometimes you gotta link up with the ops, man. Nigga, choose, choose your reboot Message. wisely. Nigga. You say what, Zoe? Choose your reboot wisely. Damn. Message. Keep your eye on the sparrow. Message. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the button and broke. God damn it. From ordinary to extraordinary. Uh, message. Uh, another, another message is sometimes you don't know the ones that's going to go to war with you. Mm. Message. Or for you. God damn, that's it. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's hit them with their 30-second elevator pitch. Netflix's Super Sale. Who want to rock it first? Man, I kick it off. Man, I ended up giving this one a 3.5. Thought it was a decent watch. Uh, definitely something to re rock. Definitely recommendable. I think I'm more so looking forward to season two just to see if they expand all the parts that we thought it was missing. Overall, though, I, I think they did, you know, a decent job. So, have you ever just felt different or off for one day? You know what I mean? Maybe you woke up and you was a little taller on under the tent, or, 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 or you just couldn't couldn't get focused. You know what I mean? Something was wrong. Maybe you was just getting strong. You know what I mean? I gave this joint a three point five. I think the series was very bingeable, if that's a word. Easy to binge, if that makes it clearer. So I would I would rewatch this and I could recommend it. I feel like I feel like this is has a story that people are going to fall into and gravitate towards. Hence the scores from IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. So that's my story. Peace. You ever just felt a little different, different than the rest? Maybe just can't figure it out. Sometimes you just got to find your tribe. I gave this like a what did I give this a th three three point something something and. uh I would definitely recommend this. Uh, I want, but I wouldn't hype it. I think that's where my 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 score kind of dipped because of, because of the hype behind it, and I don't believe it lived up to that hype. I'll definitely probably be watching this. I am looking forward to season two. I hope season two comes out and it gives us the story that we wanted from season one. If you are looking for a movie where the girl next door can give you some gore. This here is the show for you. That might be me. If you are looking for a movie with lightning bolts, super strength, fish and chips that just don't stink, this here series is for you. I keep wanting to say movie for some reason. If you that. it needs, that's what it needs to be. <laughs> looking for a series where 
the London scum becomes the ones. This here series is for you. I don't know. I just put that together. I will be rewatching this, especially if they continue this on. I want to put it all together and see how it really comes together. You got one season to win me over, one more season. I will recommend this, actually, too. This is it's pretty decent. It's like a watered-down Black Lightning. I gave it a 375. I enjoyed a little bit of it, even, even with all of the gaps and whatnot in it. It was still entertaining, and it's always good to see black people with superpowers. I I really enjoyed the shit out of that. Yeah, to be honest. So, no, I, I remembered that question because this was definitely Black Lightning without the Afro Sheen. So it makes it much easier for people to dive into without all the messaging, like I said. But hyphen, if you were to make this a movie, how long would you have made it? Maybe an hour thirty-seven. That's perfect. oh no, that's too short. That's too no, short. that's perfect. That's perfect. I'm with it. I'm with it. 97 minutes to yeah. tell all those stories and get to the to the action. You ain't gonna have no lull. It was a lot of lull in this. Okay. It was a lot of lull. You can condense a lot of it. You can condense a lot. A lot of this could have been condensed and been and because what we did, what what made the last what maybe was the last two episodes kind of dope was because it was more like more of them using their powers to conjoin it together. He was getting to it. We were missing. See, but yeah, we missed a lot of that. We missed a lot of that. See, but I, and then a lot of it I, was the, go ahead. No, I, I agree with you there. We definitely needed that, but I also needed like the scenes when old dude mom was telling him like, yo, I can't even comb your head, dude. You can't stay here. Dang. I ain't been never been able to get your hair right. Dang. You know what I'm saying? You cannot stay here. You know what I'm saying? I needed I more of those scenes, that. dog. I, yeah, I needed more of those so scenes. Bad. Yeah, that's I what I'm saying. That's that why I was you, like, want, I really you wanted to meet the stepdad. Like yeah, I did want to meet the stepdad. Yeah. Let him come through the crib, dog. Let him come. <laughs> like, he's a racist mom. Nah, he ain't that. He paid for nah, all the white nah, kids. Boy, we, we, you messing up the, you messing up the family pictures, nigga. Yeah, it was hair, your hair. Right. You <laughs> if you would have buzzed your shit like I told you to, you would have been fine. You would have blended right in. Oh man. But but Dave, you you can't stay here and the kids will be here. <laughs> yeah, and the kids, you know. I know I know your friends I know your friends fucked up, but yeah. <laughs> You should have called. We could have went, we could have went out to dinner. You, said, you haven't even found a comb or barber, young man. No, we're not doing it. Wait, let the let the husband come in through the door. It smell like chicken in here. What you, you cooking chicken? Oh, um, like, smell, like smell like blue magic in this bitch. <laughs> that watermelon? Did you just cut a fresh watermelon? Hey man, I might get this shit right, man. Get this shit wrong. Y'all let us know. Somebody's doing Instagram? Yes. Uh-huh. Dot com. That's TrueView Podcast. Podcast.com, where you can like, subscribe, share, and comment to help us defeat the all powerful algorithm that's trying to hold a black pod down. And thank you for watching. Smell Egyptian so- musk. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications, the subscribe button, the thumbs choosing. up, share us with somebody, and leave a comment. Drop in the that comments if you want us to review, because we here at the True View Podcast know that it's not just about our review. Who stays Adams at the door? Conversation with the crew, the True View Podcast. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey man, do everything that Melly Mel just said, man. And if you like movies like this, or I'm sorry, series like this, where it shows black people in a different light, I encourage you to go out and pick up my book, Yo Black People. Uh, a rise black economic warrior right here man comes equipped with quizzes and things so that you can actually retain what it is that you're writing it also has a call to action <laughs> description will be uh the link will be in the description i leave it to my guy there you have it there go that there be the end of the show man true view podcast and you know what the hell we always say you gotta be on the i-10 by 10. british oh, power style Oh, 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 oh. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Go watch some shit. Damn. True View Podcast. A bunch of different views. <laughs> the boys keep it real, man. I really like listening to them, man. They funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>